Yeah, I think I'll, um, I'm tempted to put that house in just because I really like the way the trees act as a backdrop and then I think it could act as a good starting point uh, more so than over um, to my left. Um, and then these boats here, I think they will act as a nice kind of, um, yeah, I think that's a really nice sweep actually. It's completely the wrong colour, but I do like this colour. Those orange boys, I think I'm going to remember to put those in. I think they're going to be a welcome splash of something. It's so exciting to see this water changing and Yeah, I think I've got to the, the point where where I risk overworking this, so it's I think I'll I'll quit um, so that I don't have an overworked sketch. It's it's better to live with an underworked one. When I got back to the studio, um, what I felt I really wanted to try and do was just to get that feeling of um, of warmth. Uh, of that golden hour. I ended up uh, just scaling it up slightly in a rather tentative way as to kind of what if. Um, so I ended up doing this um, very scribbly, scrawly, uh, unresolved. The way I strive to paint is to break things down, to reduce them down, distill them down, so that you have a very carefully chosen collection of, of, of shapes, directions, patterns, so that it's not really, as much as I know it's Cockwood Harbour, for me it's a, it's a plane of different shapes, directions, patterns. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much kind of rendition after rendition after rendition until you get to a point where you go, right, I'm ready to get on with the full painting. I have to trust the process, basically. And it's taken a lifetime to learn to be comfortable with, with that and, and just allow it to happen. Uh, and, and maintaining a sense of fun is just so, so important. You're wanting to almost disrupt any order that you might have at this point so that you don't become precious. If you become precious with a painting in the early stages, then you're kind of done for. That's why it should look like a dog's dinner.
It's just really about looking at it at different angles because there's no sure side um, that I will use. Uh, I think for the purposes of this painting, it is going to be a, a horizontal, um, as in a landscape. to go from here. It's like life, you know, you have layer upon layer of, you know, the decades of experience that we have and those layers are important and they give character. I suppose that's how I view my method of painting is, is the layers give that sense of character. There, I needed that vertical. Yeah, this is the really scary bit, I find, actually, because I really like it um, as it is, but I, th I think it's not quite over the finish line. It can feel nerve-wracking at this point, but I have to remember that I can rescue it if it goes wrong. It is like the three R's of risk and ruin and rescue, oh, risk, ruin, and then rescue. Starting to appear, which uh, most of which I'll probably obliterate, but where I leave it, I think it's going to, because the, the kind of rock and roll bit in my mind is up here just with that light, I think. Scumbling things. I don't even know why I keep doing that. I'm just trying to get a cohesion going. It's in here. I just need to find it. It can be counterproductive sometimes to stop and take a break because then you've got to start revving up again and that can be more painful than working through the pain of believing that you've ruined a painting.
Thank <laughs> you.